Hello fellow MRE enthusiasts, and today we have a humanitarian daily ration. Food gifts from the people of the United States of America. So these things are handing out in like, times of need, after natural disasters and such. So, And all of them are vegetarian. So I'm not sure what's in here, but I did get them from foreignmre.com. So let's open this bad boy up. All right. Got a little accessories packet. Uh, crackers. That's very shiny. <laughs> what is this? Oh, Fig Bar. All right. I've had the Fig Bar before. They're not bad. Oh, a strawberry toaster pastry, which is just a pop tart. <laughs> Oh, here is the main, red beans and rice. So it looks like this was packaged the 269th day of 2013. What we got here? Ah, shortbread cookies, if you can see that, because of the, my light's making that really bright. Some peanut butter. Feels pretty good. Strawberry jam. There's more crackers, it looks like. Yep, some more crackers. And, uh, oh, there's a couple mains in here. Lentil stew. So let me put this stuff out on a tray. If you want to look at over the uh, pink MRE bag. Let us open this little custard packet now. Got a long spoon. Kind of flimsy, but do the trick. Got a nice big napkin. Just decided to fall up. Some pepper. Try the salt, yep, salt. Got some nice matches here, some red tip matches, awesome. Crushed red pepper and an antiseptic wipe. So we're first gonna open up one of these crackers. So these are all from 2013, so they are a little bit older. Ooh, got a nice sill. So. Oh, yep, they're all sorts of crumbly. <laughs> Let's try one off. They have a nice little crunch, but you can tell they are going to sale. They have that kind of like doughy flavor. Well, actually, for the most part, they are in pretty good condition. All right, let's add this peanut butter. Well, actually, let's look at it first. I mean, it should be fine. Peanut butter pretty much keeps... Oh, yeah, that is perfectly, perfectly fine. Get some of that spread out. See how well it'll spread. Oh, actually, it spreads pretty nice. Destroying the cracker, but oh well. Now that strawberry jam, we'll see if the jam's still good. Oh, it smells good. Still smells perfectly fine. Tastes perfectly fine also. Get all that stuff. Yummy. Alright. Some nice peanut butter and crackers. Not bad. Peanut butter and jam. Or jelly. Still tastes excellent. But yeah, the crackers are going stale, unfortunately. 
So it kind of unfortunately takes a little bit away. And as I forgot to mention, of course, you can see in this humanitarian ration, there is no FRH or flameless ration heater. And there are no drink mixes either. Not even coffee. And I know the video is kind of, the trace is a little hard to see. This is the, don't, unfortunately, not use, can't use, I don't have a camera right now to use, so I have my phone attached to a tripod, and that's the lowest I can make it right now. So um, I'm going to try to make it as easy for you guys to see as possible. Let's open up this fig bar, which I've had these before, and it is basically, at least the one I've had, it's basically, yep, a giant fig newton, essentially. As you can see, it's basically a giant fig newton. And that's still perfectly good. I mean, that is what it is. It's a, it's a giant fig newton. I'm not the biggest fan of them, but they're nice and doughy, have a nice filling in there. And if you've ever had a Fig Newton, you basically had the MRE figs, fig, uh, fig bars. There's like a lot of like dessert things in here. Let's open up these shortbread cookies. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Mmm. Those are pretty decent. Alright, nice. I mean, it's basically your normal, like, shortbread cookie. Still tastes pretty good. Uh, not overly sweet. Nice, nice bite to it. Not too hard, not too soft. That Goldilocks effect. Very, very nice. Alright, that strawberry toaster pastry. And yep, as you can see, I open it up, and it, it's a it's a strawberry pop tart, and uh, it's been kind of smushed. But yeah, it's a strawberry pop tart, which is awesome. Oh, there's oh, there's actually two in here. Normally, I think it's just one, but there's actually two pastries in here. I, I don't think I'm gonna open these for the video. I'm gonna save these. Uh, but yeah, it's it's strawberry pop tarts. All right, and now on to the mains. So there is no FR8, so I'm not going to heat these up. I'm actually just going to eat them cold. So we have red beans and rice. Get this bad boy opened up, put onto the tray. So there is the red beans and rice. Mm -hmm. Smells very strong of the of the beans. So I'll get it closer to the camera so you guys can see it. That is the red beans and rice. I'll take a taste. So yes, it is cold, so it might taste a little bit different. Hmm. Not bad. And these are 2013. These are probably stored very well, so they actually taste pretty decent. And my, no, my spoon. So, um, very strong uh, flavor of the kidney beans. And that could just be because they've been resting in there for so long. It's a little bit m on the mushy side, but honestly, it's really not that bad. But yeah, it does have a very strong, like, kidney bean flavor to it. So next up, we will do the... Lentil stew. There we go. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to really like this one. I'm not the biggest fan of lentils. But. Only one way to find out. Ooh, that one came out quick. <laughs> there we go. Get this off. They do look very similar. Like I said, all the humanitarian ones are uh, vegetarian. So no matter where they need to deliver these, uh, people will be able to eat them. Mmm. 
Mm. All right. Actually, not too bad. Uh, at first, I thought it was better than this one, but then I got like a weird kind of aftertaste. Uh, their consistency is really about the same. Kind of mushy. Uh, and pretty much like a... This one, it might be the lentils, not really sure, but there's a, there's a weird aftertaste to it. I don't know if it's starting to go bad or that's just the lentils, but at first it was really good, but then it got a weird aftertaste. This one though still tastes pretty decent. Yeah. But, We can add some crushed red pepper. See if that'll change anything. If I could open it. There we go. Oh yeah, get all that bad stuff out. Wow, that poured out a lot quicker than I anticipated. Oopsies. Oh well, just gonna burn my mouth. That's okay. Got a bunch of red pepper on this one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Red pepper burning my mouth. But it did kind of hide some of the aftertaste of that one. Uh, so let's try it with the red beans and rice. The, the the beans is so the beans are so overpowering in this one, and I had a decent amount of red pepper on it, not as much as the other one, but I could barely taste the red pepper with the bean flavor. Well, I've got a couple more things to add, so why not add the salt and pepper? See see how much that'll change anything. Yeah, I always gotta add the salt and the pepper. Not really, I rarely ever add salt to anything. Sometimes you need to. Get out of the package. There we go. So that's the lentil soup. Oh. Mm, that actually made it somewhat better. Actually. Tastes a little bit better. Definitely. Now it's the salt and pepper and red pepper flakes. The red bean. All right. Actually, I think the red bean one was better without the salt and pepper. I'm not gonna lie. Put our little fig out there. Little fig bar. It's actually a whole another part of it, but But all right, yeah, so that's Humanitarian Daily Ration, menu number five, it looks like. So there are several different ones. And like I said, it doesn't come with a uh, flameless ration heater or any kind of drink mixes, but uh, they're all vegetarian. Uh, they do come with a nice little accessory packet uh, and a couple mains, some nice snacks. Uh, there's a lot more uh, sweets things in here than I anticipated, so that's interesting. But yes, I got this from... Uh, for an MRE.com. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not like and share the video? It would be much appreciated. And I did get something else from foreignmre.com, so I have that coming and a couple other things. I really enjoyed doing these. Hopefully I can get a camera soon to make it <laughs> make it better for you guys. So uh, if you want to see more of my content, why not subscribe to MRE Kaiju and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.